Hello my sweet friends and YouTube, Clarissa here. I am back with another video. How are you? And I am back and I wish you all the best for the year 2015. All the blessings. And uh, thank you new subscribers. Thank you for your supportive comments and uh, your love. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm sorry if I cannot accomplish uh, your petitions. Uh, this month of December has been very, very busy. And so what I'm planning to do and my goal is by next month, uh, spend less time in my business and do uh, more videos, spend more time doing videos. And um, that way it will satisfy me, make me happy knowing that you're happy. Uh, so um, this video is going to be in reference of how to lift the forehead, the cheek and the uh, jaw area and by uh, incorporating uh, a massage technique together with an isometric uh, facial workout. But before I start with the video, I'd like to do a disclaimer and put an emphasis that this video is with the purpose of educating the viewer. It is with the purpose of releasing knowledge, information of how the muscles work, uh, facial muscles, and uh, performing uh, isometric uh, facial techniques together with uh, facial massage techniques. Uh, the only purpose in this video, like I said, is to educate the viewer. This video has not the intention to harm anyone, uh, contradict or put down anyone. And uh, so let's proceed uh, with the video. Okay, so we're going to be using our hands uh, to lift our whole face, forehead, cheeks, and jaw. Uh, we're going to be using this area right here of our hand. Uh, a lot of the Japanese techniques, massage techniques, they use this area right here or this area right here because uh, it helps to massage uh, the skin and a weight giving a lift. And um, I'm going to explain a little bit about the muscle so you have an idea why uh, you are, are able to have the firming effect when you're doing exercises. Okay, so we have a muscle in the in a, uh, top of our scalp called the ep epicranius muscle that consists in, in the occipitalis and the frontalis. The occipitalis muscle uh, is the one who, that draws back the scalp. So when you're doing a facial workout and it's drawing back the muscle, drawing back the scalp, it gives you a firming effect if you do it constantly every single day. Okay, so the frontalis is the muscle that uh, draws forward. So when it goes forward, is that that's when the forehead starts start wrinkling and also the frontal is the one that raises the eyebrows up and down okay so uh there is a tendon called the uh the aponeurosis tendon that connects the occipitalis and the frontalis and uh, now uh, I want you to understand that m the muscle tissue can be stimulated, uh, can be stimulated in a way that it will become more healthy and stronger and also give more volume, it, uh, create more volume. Uh, can be stimulated with heat, uh, which it could be, uh, steamers and uh, hot towels can be st stimulated by electrical current uh, which it could be microcurrent or uh, other type of electrical currents uh, also it could be stimulated uh, by light uh, infrared light uh, blue light uh, red light uh, also can be stimulated by heat uh, by heat it could be steamers uh, it could be um, hot towels and it could be stimulated by massage. That's why we're going to incorporate massage uh, techniques and uh, facial isometric techniques in this video. So, uh, so when the muscle gets stimulated by massage, it really helps to lift. It really helps to keep the muscle stronger. Okay, so let's start it. We're going to use uh, our fingers, our hands, no fingers. 
I don't believe using the fingers uh, putting pressure in the muscles right here, right here, right here, or right here. Uh, I don't believe using a technique that you have to place your fingers like that. Um, you could give the muscle any shape or form. It could be in a bed or a good way. Um, because if you have a routine that you have to put pressure in these soft areas right here, uh, you could give a, a certain shape to the muscle, and uh, meaning that the muscle eventually will dent. So you don't want to do that. But if, 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 if you do it in a forehead, I, I'm okay placing the fingers in a forehead because this is mostly bone. So in my years of um, teaching facial ex exercises and doing all myself, I never put my fingers on any part of my face. I don't believe doing that. So th that is my belief and, and that's, uh, that's my opinion. Okay, so uh, let's get started. The last video that uh, I made, one of the videos that I made was about sticking out the tone as far as you can and making an O and try to smile. When you try to smile, remember I said the occipital is muscle, uh, draws back the scalp. That's what it does, it draws back the scalp and, uh, and then it gives you a firming effect. And so we're going to try to smile and close our eyes at the same time for more drawing back the scalp, okay? All right, so uh, the technique that I, I, I was teaching in all the video was sticking out the tone as far as you can. Make a O. Try to smile. Hold it. The only thing we're going to add is closing our eyes. Okay, so we're going to use this area right here of our hands and we're gonna place this hand right here and we're going to use this for massaging okay up we're gonna up massage up okay already so let's do it it's a little tricky okay already so but it's very effective 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 all right so pull up pull out your tone as as far as you can okay make a o Try to smile, hold it, close your eyes, and your hand goes up. Okay. Smile, hold it. When you closing your eyes, the occipitalis muscle is going back. Together with the smiling, it's it's a, a, a double bonus for the muscle of, of the scalp to go back and give you the firming effect. Okay, so let's repeat it. All right, we're gonna put our hands like that, okay? All right, stick your tone, make a O. A smile and hold it. Close your eyes. Okay, so now we're going to do the cheeks. All right, we're going to use this part right here with the cheeks. We're going to go like this. <clears throat> These fingers right here, it's going to reach this part right here, the temples, your cheeks and your temples. Okay, the same thing and the same procedure. Okay, all right, sticking out your tongue. Okay, we're gonna start like that. Sticking out your tongue, make a O, smile and hold it and close your eyes. Okay, so make sure that these fingers reach the temples, all these here, okay? Now we're going to do this part right here. Okay, the same thing. Stick your tongue out. 
Make a O, smile, hold it, and close your eyes. Okay, so do it every day. You're gonna thank me because you are oxygenating your skin so nice together with the massage technique. It's a little tricky, but takes practice. And remember, smiling and closing your eyes is going to help lift the forehead, okay? Lift the, draw back the whole face. Okay, you take care and God bless you. I'll see you later. Stay gorgeous. Bye-bye now.